Welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly. This is She Reads. We are still doing Halloween and today we're going to be doing a She Writes Stories with you. So if you're new to my channel or you're new to this series, basically what I have been doing since I started booktube is I've been using this book, 642 Things to Write About, to kind of give me some inspiration here and there when I kind of am lacking in my work in progress. So I'll just randomly pick a topic and I'll create a story out of it. And what I've been doing is picking a topic on here and writing a story about it and sharing it with you the next time. And I would really love it if you guys are interested in doing this, please, at the very end of this video, we're going to pick a new topic. If you want to write a story and submit it to me, I would love to read it on my channel. I think that would be so much fun. So the last topic that we picked was everyone was laughing except you. So that was the writing prompt that we picked last time. I just like randomly flipped through it and we just pick one at random and that was the topic that was picked. So everyone was laughing except you. Now most of my stories, I'm a horror, horror writer. <laughs> so most of my stories kind of end up being on the spooky side. Um, this one went a little dark. <laughs> it just kind of like, it just flowed really easily. It just came to me and it kind of freaked me out afterwards, like why that came so easily to me because it went dark. So without further ado, let's just get right on into, let's just get right on into the story that I wrote. Carly awoke in a cold sweat, completely out of breath again. It was the third time this week that she had had the nightmare. Her therapist kept telling her that it was the result of a situation in her life in which she felt out of control, and as soon as she fixed whatever the issue was, the dreams would most likely stop. Well, she was still nowhere close to figuring out what could possibly be bothering her in her real life, and so far the frequency of the dreams just kept increasing. She turned on the light and swung her feet out of bed, stepping into some slippers before heading to the bathroom. Once there, she splashed some water on her face and began to brush her teeth. She knew without looking that it was 3.40 a.m. It was always 3.40 a.m. when she woke up from the dream. She also could never fall back asleep after having the dream, so lately, instead of wasting the time laying in bed staring up at the ceiling, she had started getting in an early morning workout in her basement makeshift gym. She had just put on her workout gear when she had heard the first bang. Startled, she stopped moving and turned her ear to the hallway another bang. She froze. What the hell was that? Bang. Apprehensively, she started for the doorway, telling herself it was the water heater or the furnace or something like that. She was on her way to the basement anyway. She would see for herself. Bang. Slowly, she inched towards the basement, jumping with every bang that seemed to get louder and louder with every step she took. Finally, she reached her home gym room and flipped on the light. She was instantly shocked and terrified to see not the, ex not the exercise equipment that should be there, but a single chair in the center of the room. She didn't even have time to scream before the blow came and everything went black. Slowly, Carly began to regain consciousness. Her head ached and everything felt fuzzy. She tried to bring her hand up to the wound at the back of her head, but was restricted. She instantly opened her eyes and was met with a horrifying sight that she was all too familiar with by now. Four clowns with disheveled hair and wide, toothy, overstated grins danced around her, each brandishing a different weapon. They giggled and made loud, obnoxious noises as they twirled around. Their jumpsuits were dirty, and their face paint ran, highlighting the maniacal look each of them had in their eyes. Carly began to thrash her limbs, but she was tightly bound to her chair. Her screams were eaten up by the rag stuffed in her mouth. Suddenly, another loud bang came from the doorway, and Carly looked over to see yet another clown holding a bat. A hole in the door frame from where he connected imprinted into Carly's mind. Carly, 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 the clown sneered as he stepped towards her. We tried to warn you that we were coming, 
but you just didn't listen, did you, Carly? Well, maybe in your next life, you'll learn to listen a little more carefully to your dreams. Carly fell silent, her resolve giving way to hopelessness. She knew what came next. The clown's laughter grew louder as their dancing intensified. Well, you guys, that's it. <laughs> so that got a little bit dark. Typically, my stories are kind of based more on the paranormal, not about actually like creepy people doing scary ass things like that. Um, but yeah, this one just kind of came to me <laughs> as soon as I saw that writing prompt. So that is my story. I'm sorry. It's dark. It's spooky. It's weird. It's scary. If you hate clowns, sorry. <laughs> But now let's go into this book and pick our next topic. So I'm gonna remove this bookmark. Just going to randomly choose one. Oh, this one will be really good. Do you have a superstition? What is it? Why do you have it? And how do you follow it? That one could actually be really fun to do. So once again, do you have a superstition? What is it? Why do you have it? And how do you follow it? So that is going to be the next topic for our next She Writes Stories with you. If you guys want to join in, I would absolutely love it if somebody sent me their story. I would love to read it on here. I think that would be so much fun. Well, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I hope you're enjoying Halloween. The end is coming sooner than we think, and I've actually had so much fun doing this. Like, it's just been so much fun recording every day, and it's, like, giving me so much inspiration for future videos. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I will see you tomorrow in the next Halloween video. Bye!